Alright guys, I apologize for not responding to my comments right away. I'm just trying to put hobby on the hobby side and life with life. I've been spending too much time on hobbies and I gotta try to live my life. But anyways, here's another quick video. So this is brand new 6S 150 amp. This brand is known to kind of overheat especially the 150 you you know you guys know what i'm talking about but anyway so does the mamba xl x2 you guys know what i'm talking about too so they all get hot all right it's just the heat sink and the fan trying to keep the chips cool so what i'm gonna do is just put two of these water cooling box 40 by 40 that's a 30 by 30 this is a Peltier plate. I'm planning to put it in the middle. I've measured it. It will fit right in that heat sink. Here's one of them. So let me show you guys that it will fit perfectly. I apologize, this is not a professional video. Almost perfectly, but I will make it fit. I've done something similar to this in the past for some of you people seeing my earlier videos. This thing is able to create condensation. Um, so I'm just going to unscrew these small little screws, lift up the cover, pull up the fan, use the torch. But before I use the torch, I have aluminum foil folded into few layers on the side to protect the capacitors and wires then torch it then use a ply and pull it up let it cool off put some thermal grease on the bottom to transfer the heat from the chip to the water blocks and this is just to make it fit better because it's a little off but with this, if you plan to put a battery on it, one side will get hot and one side will get cold. So if the side that gets hot, I plan to put another heat sink and a fan on it. And then if you don't put a battery on it, if you put a motor or, or a fan or, or a light to it or whatever, if you heat this up, it actually generates electricity like a motor. But I don't plan to let it get hot. I want to keep it cool. And um, after that, I do have a glue stick. I have some water proof stuff that I'm gonna use silicone, conforming coating, some gasket maker, high temp, some cheap crazy glue, but gel like and epoxy. In the past, I had the one amp, so this is a five amp, and, and the one amp was a 30 by 30. And I have this to shape it because it actually is a little bit long, longer than what it is. Let me show you guys. If I can, just a little bit. Excuse me. Let's see. Right there. See? So I need to use this and just cut off the side a little bit. Either the inside or one side or both sides. But whatever it is, I'll make it fit. I'll show you guys when it's done or I'll try to make a video while I'm making it. All right. Let's go. Hey guys, I was going to go outside and use the torch to remove the heat sink, but since I'm inside, I'm just going to use the heat gun. So one thing I've noticed about these is this is the new and improved model as of October 2021. The older models have soft cables by the tip. Or well, how soft is this? It bends at the tip. But this is the new one from Amazon as of 2021 October. So like some hard metal instead of soft wire to the board. Hard metal and then this side too. See where it bends? Like right here, see the middle one? This side, see. The old ones, it will just go all the way down. Look at that, all the way down, all the way down. So let me show you guys again. It won't go down because there's like some piece of hard metal or whatever it's called. 
new and improved but anyways i'm gonna mount this so i don't think i'm gonna get everything on camera i'll just do what i can all right guys it's not going smoothly this happened before the little screw ends is like glued to the, um, the bottom of the epoxy or whatever is built so the little screws actually broke off and i have another one that is stripped but it should come off so i lift it up and turned it all right it might be a headache i might not even be able to do this because there's four screws that i'm un probably unable to remove so i was able to remove three of the four screw the fourth one broke inside now i'm just going to use the heat gun and the ply pull it out all right, I heat it up, took it off. There's the stock thermal pad. So I might not use the thermal grease. Actually, I will to cover the edges. And then I'm going to put this in the Peltier plate. Put it, probably add some thermal grease. This is the cold side with the words. The other side is the hot. So I'm going to put the hot side facing this way and if it's wrong which is not you can always just switch the polarity of the battery so just put positive on the black if anything and uh, let's see if it fits as I showed you guys earlier it won't fit so I'm gonna have to make it a little wider to make it fit all right guys I'm done I'm just going to put this, so it's going to look like this, I'm going to put the thermal grease to fill in the gaps, and I'm going to have to cut the cover right here, now I'm just going to cut it, getting close. This is how it looks under the demo pad. Alright guys, so I put thermal grease in between. Then I use crazy glue because it dries fast on the edges on both sides all around. Then I took off the demo pad, stock demo pad. And I added thermal grease and I'm gonna just put on put it on right on top for almost direct contact. Alright guys, almost done. As you all know, the four little screws got stuck and broke on me, so I'm just gonna use crazy glue and put it together. Then Instead of using epoxy, I'm just going to use this high temp silicone gasket maker and sealer and fill in the, the spaces in the middle, like right here, on this side. Alright guys, I'm pretty much done. You should wear gloves. It's a little messy, but let it dry and I scrape off the extra if I have time. I'm gonna let it dry with the heat gun. All right guys, just to show you, it's gonna look something like this. So the water comes out of the reservoir here to the pump so I'm just gonna cut it connect this to here this to here and then this back to the pump so for now I'm using water I'm gonna be using PC coolant I think it costs about 30 40 bucks a bottle so I'll use that at the end 
and I'm still waiting for another fan and I also might upgrade this fan to one of those big bulky fans let me show you guys it's already on the ESC still works And just ignore this Peltier cooler device. It's just for future upgrades in case I need to cool it even more. But let me plug a battery in with a temperature gun to show you guys. Hold on. All right, guys, I'm going to plug this in to show you the hot side and the cold side. So when the red wire is on the right facing you, then the worst is on top. So this would be the cold side and this would be the hot side. So if you want to make this side extra cold or keep it cold you need extra coolants and fans or water whatever so before i did this i was going to put a pelty plate on the bottom but it's too much headache and i don't want to have to have a power source to cool, off, cool it off all the time and i want a direct or as close direct contact with the water cooling blocks as possible so give me a second let me plug this in then i'm going to use the heat gun to show you guys the temperature difference let's check out what temperature this is so that is 79 how about the 79 room temperature pretty much 84 75 why is this 84 well it's probably because of it was a little warm from the heat gun and stuff. Let's try it again. So it's like 83. But let's show you the difference. Alright guys, it's on. This is a 5 amp. And the thing inside, the Pelty is also 5 amp. So remember, it was 84 before. Let's see what this is. It's 90, 97 now. 95. 96, 97. Let's see the other side. Let's see the other side. It's 80. Eighty. How about this side again? Eighty-six, ninety-six, one o four. You guys see that, guys? This is one o four. While the other side is eighty. It's Twenty-five degrees difference. So let me unplug it before I damage the ESC. So I don't plan to use this Peltier, but just for future upgrades. And in my older videos, I had the Peltier on the bottom to keep it cool. But this will be going to my armor big rock for the water cool system. Thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for subscribing. More mods coming. Hey, guys, since you're still watching, Here's my next mod for the Armor Creighton EXB. Hopefully I can do it. I should. Again, thanks for watching.